Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, last night I did the uh, Daytona Tortugas and the Dunedin Blue Jays. Um, didn't really, I have a lot left for Mississippi here. Um, there's one thing got moved up um, yesterday, which like I said, I knew that was coming um, with Ozzy. I'll be going to AAA. Anyway, I'll be there tomorrow night for the last game. So uh, I didn't do this last night because I didn't get until late with Riley. And um, so I'm going to knock this recap out real quick. I had so much fun her this weekend between the graph and the Mississippi game. And then last night, um, she got a ball. Um, I don't have it in here with me. I mean, she got a baseball last night and got it signed by. Um, let's see if it's in the backpack. I don't think I have it with me. No. Let me pull these out though. It's in here. Nope. All right. Well, I'm semi ill prepared. Anyway, one of the Dundee and Blue Jay players after the game gave her a uh, a baseball, and uh, I thought for a minute she was going to be a Blue Jays fan really quick. <laughs> she decided, nope, I want to get the Tortugas to sign it. She likes turtles. She loves turtles. Um, so anyway, last night for the Tortugas was Team Autograph Night. They give away these photos, and then you get the photos signed, and then if you have cards, you can get them signed. Um, this is what the photos look like. I'm too lazy to count who all is on here and how many. But I've got two of these, one for me, and then one, one's Riley's. Um, I know Carrie Mela is not on it. Uh, I'm trying to think of who else wasn't. There's, they were missing four or five guys uh, when they started. And then they slowly started coming in and sitting down. But, um, but yeah, there's quite a few on here that uh, that we didn't get. Which, probably that's fine. It's just a little picture anyway. Um, I did get the program they gave out. Taylor Sparks is on the cover. I got Taylor Sparks to sign that after the game. And... Uh, Let's see, for the cards. Oh, well, I'll go ahead and show this. Um, they had a charity event last night there. Um, they do this, I guess, once a year. I don't remember them doing it last year, but maybe I just didn't go to the first autograph session. I went to the second one in the end of, towards the second half of the season. Um, anyway, it's it's Raleigh Fingers charity, and then they have a lot of different major leaguers come out. Like Daryl Evans was there last night. Ron Robinson, Mark Witten. Um, Jim Perry, which Gaylord Perry's brother, Roger Maris Jr. was there, um, Mark Witten, Oscar Gamble, uh, seems like maybe one more and I'm just not remembering the name, but anyway, it was $40 and you could get all of their autographs, or it was $25 for Fingers, Daryl Evans for some reason was $15, and then the rest of them were $10, um, I had already got Mark Witten. I had some more cards for him. I had already gotten him at FanFest, if you guys remember seeing that on that video. The only other person I had cards for was Daryl Evans. Well, I'm not going to pay $40. And then they didn't even guarantee me that he was going to sign all the cards. I had five cards. They said, well, it's $15 for him to sign, but they're only going to sign one thing. I'm not, sorry, I'm good. I'm not paying $15 for one baseball card. I will, however, pay the $25 for Raleigh Fingers. So, because uh, just because it's for charity. So, Raleigh Fingers on a... Uh, Rawlings official Major League Baseball on the sweet spot with a 92 Hall of Fame inscription. Pretty stoked to get that. That was awesome. Um, I'd heard he was really nice. He was, I guess he's nice. He seemed kind of mad to the whole thing. There wasn't that many people. I mean, it was only maybe 15 people that actually paid the money to um, to do it. It was just a weird night. Like, they had a team autograph session, and then right next to it was this thing with, you know, Hall of Famer, and just was... Seems like they could have probably planned that a little bit better. More people were just like, oh, let's go get the Daytona. They're free. Anyway, pregame, I did Dunedin. Did, um, Alford was on the DL, so he didn't make the trip. So I missed him. And then Justin Schaefer is a former Gator. Really wanted to see him. But he's on the DL, didn't make a trip. Make the trip. Um, the only guy I missed, and I didn't see him there, was Mitch Nay. So maybe he didn't make the trip either. But anyway, Tom Robson on two. Ryan McBroom for one. Dickie Joe Thon on one. Why does can't I swear I gotta buy a new camera? That aggravates me. I know what aggravates y'all. Derek Loveless for one. Yeah, pretty solid uh 
two run double there at the end of the game. The Blue Jays got crushed. I think it was like 11 to 6. The square away wasn't even that close. Connor Green. Somebody told me this guy was one per. So whoever told me he was one per is like lost their mind. So Connor Green, three out of three. He was charting. One, two, and three. So whoever you are out there who said he was one per, if it was somebody on here or wherever, um, he he no one per. Jim, I think you say his name is Zajkowski. Zajkowski, twenty or two thousand and four Danville Braves team set card. How about pulling that out of the, one of the old albums? Adonis Cardona, one. Is that yeah, one, two, and three out of five with help from Riley. Riley got this one done, so she was one out of one. His autograph, he takes forever. He takes a long time to sign. There's number two. I should have given Riley a chrome, but chromes are eating me alive this year. And then number three. I don't know why it takes him that long to do that autograph, but it takes him a long time to sign it. I'll do that one last. And then I got this one uh, post-game. He's the only one I didn't get pre-game. He came out and ran right by. And, um, nobody could call him quick enough. Richard, Richard Arena. For two, one, and then two, and then Michael Bourne signed a uh, minor league deal, I guess, with the Blue Jays after spring, and he's with Dunning, and he's apparently been doing only one per, and people have had a hard time trying to get him and whatnot, but he was cool with me last night. There was, uh, there was quite a few graphers there last night just because of the team autograph session, and everybody was there to get Raleigh fingers. Nobody really stayed for the game, so post game it was just me. It was beautiful. Um. Anyway, he did three out of three to two out of two for me. I saw him starting to do two per, so I gave Riley one. Uh, which one did Riley? Riley got this one. Uh, Thirteen. So Riley for the win on that. And then I got this one. And then the fourteen. So super stoked to get those three. Never gotten Michael Bourne before. Um, so that's kind of cool. Maybe not like a you know Hall of Famer major leaguer, but he's an established major league guy, so that's cool. All right, now for the uh, Tortugas. This is all some of it during the autograph session, and then some of it post game. Not much of it was post game. I got a lot of it done in the autograph session. T.J. Antone, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Tyler, some of these are yours. I have them. A sticker on the back of them. I wrote everything down that you sent me just so I don't mix them up. Like this one's yours. Um, so I, I gotta start you a, a stack over here with my other consignment stuff on my shelf. Um, make sure I send you back the right stuff. But I pretty much knocked everything out for Daytona you sent me last night. Um, Aristides Aquino, he had five RBIs last night. Guy had a great game. Got him on two on that, and then the only elite. I love this set. Stoked to have gotten that. I'm really mad I don't have the Richard Arena. I could have gotten that one done last night. I have to pick that up and try and maybe catch them again or something. Uh, Garrett Bullwear on one. Jake Arett on one. And Jeff Galelich on three. Yeah. One, this first two are chrome. This one's yours, Tyler. And three. Nice guy. He started to shut it down a little bit last year. Started kind of doing two per, but I got those three on the autograph session. It was cool. Ishmael Guion did two out of five in the autograph session. I don't know why, because I've heard he has done everything. And all five, um, I think they were all five were different. I know at least four were. Anyway, two of five on him, and then I didn't see him post game. So they have like a little back thing they can sneak out by where they hit in the batting cages. And that's, that's where I saw Curry Mill. I just happened to catch him. Uh, let's see. Jimmy Hergett, one, two, three. Was it just three on him? I could have sworn I had more than that. Let me put those aside. Nick Howard for four. I know I had like six for him, I thought. One. One, two. Three for the Heritage set. And four. Tyler Mall, one, two, two out of two. Huh, Eli Marrero. Eli Marrero is such a, he's weird. And two. 
Eli, I had seven on the page. Didn't expect him to sign them all. He never does. If you think he's going to, you're you've simply lost your mind. Um, Eli, how are you doing tonight? Um, just you know, sign whatever you, whatever you have time for, sir. I, I just appreciate it and just kind of made small talk while he was signing. So he signs this one and it had six different cards. One had one dupe. One dupe. He signs this one and then he signs this one. So I'm like, okay, cool. Well, last year I got both of those cards signed and they were in black ink. So I'm happy to get these double redone again in blue. And I'm thinking, okay, well, he's just any one of the other ones would have been great. No, the goofball signs the dupe instead of signing a different one. He's, he's just quirky. He parks right by the door where they walk out. He drives this little Fiat. It looks like one of those little tiny, small, you know, smart car things. And it, uh, whatever. Anyway, that's typical Eli Marrero. Anyhow, moving on. Jimmy Pickens signed right over his face. Um, don't I guess apparently he didn't like that picture. One on one. Jake Paulson, one on one. Avon Rochelle, I think that's how you say it. One on one. Ryan O'Grady, one on one. Jonathan Reynoso, one on one. And then one, two, three more Taylor Sparks. Three out of three. That one looks a lot better than the other ones I got done last year. <laughs> that extra pro debut. And then Tyler, this one's labeled for you. Ty Washington, one day one. Seth Varner, one out of one. And I got one, two, three, four. I got two more in here, this guy somewhere. He does not sign dupes. And then I got these last two when he was talking to his mother after he walked out. So he couldn't not sign them. Matter of fact, his mom told him to go sign. It was actually kind of funny because it was, it was me and a bunch of kids. And I was just kind of standing back and I saw him. I was like, I wasn't going to make really a big attempt to get him. Um, and he just kind of happened to walk over where Riley was standing, which was next to me. And then I'm this, while well, you're standing here, I might as well knock him out. So I knocked them both out. But it was funny. His mom was like, you go over there and go sign for those kids. I mean, it looked like he was going to anyway. He's not a jerk or nothing. So, four out of four here, and then two out of two later. So one, Tyler, that's for you. There's two. Top prospect, Midwest, Midwest League. Three. And then four. And then the other two are in here somewhere. Brennan Bernardino at this post game, 101. Blake Trahan, one, two, three, four, five, six. One handful of these. Two. Three. Four. Five. Tyler, this one's yours. And six. Tyler, that one's yours. <laughs> Angelo Gomes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight out of eight. Really nice. Whoa, snap. Really nice kid. He um made just kind of conversation with him. He didn't play last night. He jammed his finger, got hit by in the hand. Um because a couple days ago and he hasn't been playing. But I just asked him, how's it feel to you to be out of the Yankee system? He's like, man, he's the best thing ever happened to me. He said, I asked for it. I want it out. And they let me go. He's like, this is so much better in the red system. It's so low key. He said, I, I, he's like, I don't envy anybody plays in the Yankee system at all. And he said, the way that they run ship over there, it's just, he said, I don't know how anybody does it. But anyhow, he was really cool. Signed all eight. Made conversation the whole time he signed. New super nice guy. These first three are consignment, so they're not available. One, none of these are available. This is all for sets for me. Two or 50 50. And three. That's a sportsgraphing.com consignment. Uh, it's a four. Tampa Yankee set. Five. Eleven Heritage, number six. Number seven. And number eight. Really nice guy. Hope he does. He's hitting like 305. He's doubled his batting average for what he had been. Um... One, two. No, I guess those were the only three. All right, so I'll show these three. Jimmy Herget. I thought I had six, but I guess I had three. One. Tyler, that one's flagged for you. Two. And then three. Chrome, I hate you. Shrieked and bubbled a little bit. I had the worst luck with Chrome. I swear to Buddha. 
I'm just going to start using baby powder again and go outside and just doctor these things. I, I don't know what else to do. I, I rub the crap down with a cloth and it just does absolutely no good. These are the other two white strands that I got. Turn out fine. One and two. And then, uh, carry mail I pitched last night. One, two, three, four, five. Wait till you see this chrome. This one's just awful. One. That's just horrible. Horrible. Two. Three, and then Jordan gave me this to 50 50 because I haven't. I've ordered my Bowman, I've ordered a set, a prospect set, and a regular base set. It hasn't come in yet because it's coming from Seattle, but this is my first Bowman 16 Bowman card that I've gotten signed. So, um, 50 50 those with him. So I'll have that to him tomorrow night. So, that is it for the recap from yesterday. Um, 84, I think, was my count when I made the count last night. That puts me over 1,100 autographs for the, for the year so far. We're only in April, so that's cool. Um, never really kept up count and thought it would be kind of neat. So when I do my recaps on sports graphing, I keep tabs and keep adding it up just to see what I'm going to have at the end of the year. Um, and tomorrow night, I'll be back in the Suns and Braves. Um, Paul hooked me up. I've got his, his season tickets. So I got his ticket for tomorrow night. He sits right next to the Braves dugout. Um, the managers, the coaches are all right there. Very accessible. I can either go there and autograph or I can go down to the end of the dugout, which is what I'm going to do. Uh, maybe I'll get a lineup card or something tomorrow night. I don't think I've ever got I've, Logan's gotten one, but uh, I've never gotten a lineup card myself. So I'm going to try and get that. And maybe I'll get Swanson to sign it after. He's apparently been really standoffish um, yesterday and today, post game, pre game. He's hardly signing at all. He's only signing for a few people. Um, so I have one baseball. I'm going to try and get him on that baseball. I only have one card left. It's a chrome. I can tell right now I'm not going to, I'm not even wasting my time. Um, so I'm going to put him on the baseball if I can get him tomorrow uh, pregame and then maybe get him on the lineup card postgame. So if I get the lineup card. So that's it, guys. Is that the, no, that's not her ball. Um, yeah, Monday into that. And then Tuesday I may go down to Gainesville and try and finish off that scorecard. I have a scorecard um, that I started for the Gators. I only need maybe 10 or 12 guys on that. I may go down there and try and finish that. They're playing Bethune-Cookman Tuesday night. So it shouldn't be too difficult to try to pick a few of those guys off if I decide to make a trip down there. But anyway, that's it. The Suns are out of town starting uh, Tuesday. Well, tomorrow's the last home game. They're gone for 10 days. And then Montgomery's here, which is awesome for me because I'm a Rays fan. They're the Rays. I'm um, really looking forward to it. So is Riley. She's, she's like super stoked after this week and all the autographs she got. So she's like really looking forward to getting some Rays autographs because she, she likes the Rays too. But that's it, guys. I'll quit babbling. Y'all have a good week, and uh, we'll hot you on the next one. See you.